Hey guys, it's Hashtag Nat, and today I'm going to be showing you five cute hairstyles you can do with shorter hair. So, without further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay, so the first hairstyle is really easy. So what you're going to need for this hairstyle is you're going to need two, sometimes three, bobby pins. Now you're going to take the front part of your hair and start braiding it. If you don't know how to braid, it's really simple. All you got to do is take your three pieces and just cross them over and then you'll get your braid. So while you're braiding, what you have to do is after that you're going to take your braid, put it to the back middle part of your head, and then you're going to pin it with your bobby pin. It's as simple as that. And of course you're not just going to do that side. Now for the second side. So you're going to do the same thing. Take your front part of your hair and divide it into three and start braiding. And before we get further into the video, I just want to apologize for being very inactive, but I'm back now, and hope you guys enjoy this video, and hopefully I'll make more. But, okay, so back to what I was saying. So when you do this, you're going to then, of course, do it like the other time, and pin it back to the back middle of your head, and if you have troubles and you have a little bump like this, I will show you what to do. So this is when you might need three bobby pins. So of course you're going to pin your other braid to the back middle of your head. But then you're going to have to deal with this bump if you have it. If not, that's very good. So you're going to take your bobby pin and then you're just going to pin it down. And it's so simple. It just makes it easier. So if there's any loose hairs or any bumps, you can just easily use that bobby pin to pin it down. And voila! There's your first simple braid hairstyle for short hair. So now for our second hairstyle what we're going to need is one ponytail and as you can guess it's going to be a high ponytail so you're going to brush your hair and you're going to brush it towards the back that way it makes it a little bit easier. Then to make it a high ponytail you're going to flip your head down gather all the pieces and put as high up as you can. If you want it higher you can just use your hands and just roll it up until it gets as high as you want it to. So after that, you're going to then wrap your hand around the ponytail, and you're going to make it like every normal one. This one's really simple, and it's good for short hair because it looks cute even if it's not as long. But it is such an adorable style, and I enjoy it. It looks really cute, and it's fun to play with. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Now we're going to be doing a messy bun. For this style, you're going to need a ponytail and a bobby pin just in case. So what you're going to do, like the high ponytail, you're going to flip your hair down. You're going to put it into what looks like a high ponytail, as you see. And then you're easily going to use your fingers to put it up as high as you want it to. It doesn't have to be high if you don't want it to. But if you want it to be high, just do what I'm doing and it will be so much easier. So then what you're going to do, well, what I like to do is I like to make my bun tight and then use it to mess it up. So you're going to wrap it around one finger and then wrap it underneath and just keep wrapping it around the little bun that you made around your finger. Use your ponytail and start wrapping it around. And then after that, what you're going to easily do is then you're going to start playing with it. So when you're making your ponytail, you can start playing with it in the process. Or you can wait till it's done. So when it's done, you can start pulling it apart and pulling little pieces out to make it more messy. Because, of course, it's a messy bun. See this? This is called a rat's tail. And if you have it, that's what you need your bobby pin for. Just pin it up. Now, this next style is if you have flat hair and you don't want it and you want to add some volume. So if you don't like your flat hair and you want some volume to it, what you're easily going to do is take your brush and just brush your hair back. This easily makes it... Just to give it more volume. If it ends up messy, brush it and just keep going at that and it makes it look like it's got more volume in it. This I found out just by myself. It was really easy and it puffs your hair up a little bit and gives it some nice volume and doesn't make it as flat so it looks a little bit better if you don't like flat hair. So there you go. Now for our last hairstyle, what you're going to do is you're going to take a ponytail and then you're going to get to the back of your hair. And you're going to divide your hair into the middle, but not a lot. Make sure that you only get the up part and not the under parts of your hair. So when you do that, you're going to just make it a little ponytail. So therefore, you have 
a little tiny ponytail. And it looks so cute. I love it. It's such a cute style. I'm going to use it more often. There you go. Brush it if you want to. And ta-da! There you go. It looks super cute and super easy. I hope you guys enjoy my hairstyle video. And make sure to leave a thumbs up if you did. Comment down below whatever you want to see. And subscribe if you're new and want to see new content. Bye guys. See you soon.